Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go over real quick uh, a couple different options on the RIM ZB OSD and uh, we're going to use the configuration tool. This is uh, version 2 uh, 1.76 and I'm going to show you guys how to do battery calibration on this real quick. This is a pretty simple program. What we're going to do first, I'll show you how to hook it up to the OSD and here's the main board here. And right here is our GPS plug, so we're going to unplug the GPS. This is version 2, this is the 1.79 firmware board. And we're going to plug in, if I can get my fat fingers in there, we're going to plug in the USB adapter. So I'm going to plug that into the side of my computer. And before I do that, I'm going to power up the quad and set up Phantom. And I made sure my radio was on so there's not any problems there. I'm going to hold the home button while I'm giving it power. So hold that button in and give it some juice. Okay. And now we're ready to roll. We're going to plug it into my laptop here. I can get this camera straight. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys exactly the way to hook this up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here to Serial Communications and we're going to open that up and we're going to make sure it says connected here. So it says connected, we're in good shape there and we're going to go, we'll exit that real quick. This is the screen that I have set up. You can load different files. If you go to file you can load uh, HUD style display um, and I have one saved. This is for my buddy Mike. But we're going to open one and I'll show you what it looks like. And this is like the stock version here. And we'll load my version for Mike there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, uh, just real quick, I wanted to show you guys how to set alarm values. So over here is the altimeter. And in the U.S. they recommend under 400 feet. So what you do is you go down here where it says alarm value. And we're going to make sure that the uh, altitude is visible. Uh, these are the column and the row, which you can just drag the piece. And I set it at 400. That way, if it goes over 400 feet, the altitude will blink. Okay? So real quick, you can do that with the uh, speed, distance from home. It's a good idea. And also the timer is a good idea. Okay, let's go into the battery voltage, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Now, what I did was... We're going to go into serial communications and we're going to go up in here to ADC configuration. And this is just this uh, simple version here. We can go to the advanced one if we want, which you can adjust the gains and everything on um, the different voltages, whether it be the motor, the video. And this is also how you set up for RSSI so you can uh, find your signal strength. So real quick, we're going to go back to basic, and I'll zoom in here so you guys can really get a good picture of it. Now, I measured my battery voltage, and I know that my voltage right now, using a uh, voltmeter, is 12.3 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit start polling, and I'm going to push in the current value, which is 12.3. And I'm going to have an alarm at... 10.9 and you can see that it's taking these inbound and outbound messages here and we're going to hit stop polling we'll let that go for about 30 seconds and what it's doing is it's looking at the battery looking at how much energy it's using and it's figuring out um, what's going on now, if it goes under the alarm value, the first uh, character will blink, okay? So it should be the engine voltage character. Now, we're going to hit uh, stop pulling, and we're going to program the OSD. It's that simple. Now, that was for the motor. In this, uh, in this setup here with this Phantom, I only have one battery plugged in. And you pretty much just repeat the process. Whether you're running 4S, that's fine. Just put the 4S voltage in there. For the motor and for the video, you always you should be running running on 3S unless you're using a BEC. So for the uh, video, we're not running anything, and um, so we're just using 
the one voltage and you can see that the number here means that it, it, it signaled that voltage. So we, up, we programmed the OSD there and that's good to go. So what we'll do is we'll go to upload program and font and just to be sure we're going to go to upload OSD, upload to OSD. And what it's doing is it's taking this screen that we've configured the way we want it and it's programming the on-screen display right now which it does take a minute and we'll forward through that okay we're just about done beautiful now another thing is uh, down here at the bottom sort of the bottom of the screen you see outbound messages and inbound messages now if you hit hide here and it just shows you this screen it'll be complete but if you hit show it will say down here upload completed success we know we're in good shape there and now our battery voltage is set so what we'll do is back out of there and we still have the program open first thing I'm going to do is unplug the battery of the quad and then I'm just going to unplug the OSD and now what I'll do is unplug the USB plug back in the GPS make sure it's tight and we are good to go now your battery voltage is calibrated for your flight battery which I just did a 3s but the biggest uh, thing is, is to just check your voltage make sure it's accurate when you start polling hit stop polling and then program OSD you'll be in good shape let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll get right back to you thanks for watching